What's up guys, in today's episode we're going to figure out how to make the characters who talk, who's talking a little more emphasized. So let's try to make uh, the character, let's say, if I start this thing up, uh, the person who's talking, well you know who's talking because of the character nameplate underneath them, but other than that it can be kind of hard to tell. So what uh, else can we do to make this character a little more emphasized? Well, we can make them slightly larger and uh, We can also make it so the other characters maybe a bit darker and so that it's going to be very very clear as to who is talking So let's see how we can do that So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my dialogue manager and we're gonna go to the bottom and I'm going to paste this piece of code in. Um, and usually I don't do this, but uh, this is like not really important. This is going to help us later on. It's just going to convert hex code to a color. And you would usually do this through an extension method of some sort, or you could use uh, a different script, like a utility script to put this in. But for convenient purposes, I'm just going to paste this in our dialogue manager. And normally I would never do this, but uh, I'm going to do this here just so that it's quick and easy. And I'll have this piece of code uh, in the comment section so that you can copy paste this too and put it where you find fit. And with that, we can now move on to the more important parts. All right, so we're going to now create a new method that will darken these characters who are not talking and so we're going to create a private void and let's call this darken other portraits and we're going to loop through all of our portraits that we have and we can see our portraits up here um, should be an image here we go character portraits so we're going to loop through all of them and we're going to say for int i equals zero i is less than character portraits dot length i plus plus and so if the if i is equal to our get character index so we're going to get the current character index, but you see that it needs a, um, it needs a info and we're just going to copy this, paste it in here. And then we're just going to pass through the info. And so now we'll be happy with that. And so if the character, um, if the character index is equal to I, what are we going to do? We're going to say character portraits i dot we're going to get the color and we're basically going to use now we can use our hex to color so we're going to call our hex to color method that we um, had earlier and we're going to make it uh, fully white basically or like it's not going to be darkened at all and we're going to need was it six F's for this? One, two, three, one, two, three. And to show what this means, um, if you go over to your Unity, we're going to just a random image or something that, something random, and go to color. You see here, this is our hexadecimal or our hex code. And we're going to copy this. And we are going to. Um, just paste it in here, make sure it's right. Uh, I think it's actually five Fs. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, actually, sorry about that. It's five Fs, not six. And that just makes sure that it's pure white and there's no dark darkness to it or any other type of color that's uh, added on. It's just pure uh, what the original image is supposed to be, basically. And so now that we have that, um, what do we do if the index is not equal to our current character so this is just a character that's not talking basically so we can say 
just real quick. Character is talking or this character is talking. This character is not talking. And so you're gonna do pretty much the same thing except the color is not going to be uh, the original color. We're going to darken it. And so let's go over to our uh, just a random image again. We're going to go to where the color and we're just going to play around with it. And let's darken this. So we're just going to drag this down along this axis. So we don't want it to be on the right side or else it's going to affect the hue. We just want to be on the left side. Or it's going to affect the saturation, sorry. We want the saturation to always be zero so we don't change like the color or anything like that. And we're going to drag this down until we get something that is uh, dark, but not too dark. And you can just drag it to however much you want. And this is a pretty good value for me. I kind of like this. It's dark, but it's not too dark, so I'm going to copy that. Go back over here, and I'm going to paste that in there. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to actually call this method. And we're going to call this method when... Um, actually, it doesn't really matter where it is, per se. There's no like order of operations. That's kind of important here. We just need to put it in a place that makes sense. So we can put it down right here. So this is kind of where we kind of set all the stuff. Can darken other portraits and that's going to need an info and we can just pass through the info uh, up here and it'll like that and so now I'm going to try and play this and you see now all the other characters are now darker so you, without even looking at the nameplate um, this character is obviously brighter than all the other ones and so this guy is probably the one who's talking and now if we uh, proceed, it's like, oh, this character is a bit uh, brighter than all the other ones, so she's probably talking. And so this way, it's uh, super, super clear who is talking. And if you want, you can also make the character slightly larger, just give it a little bit more emphasis. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. So I'm going to go to Character Portraits. I'm going to go to the index, the correct index, and then I'm going to do rect transform dot local scale. Well, that's not local scale. Local scale is equal to a new vector three. And I'm just going to make this 1.25. Oops. Uh, maybe that's too much. Maybe 1.2f. 1.2f. So we're changing the. Um, the X and the Y value to 1.2. The Z value doesn't matter that much. And then we're just going to copy this, paste it down here, and then we're going to set the other ones to the original size. You don't need the F since um, it's not a it's not a float value. It's an integer. Okay, so let's wait for it to compile and replay it. And so now what should happen is that the character, yep, he's slightly larger. And then this other character, oh, look, she's larger now. And so the character who's talking is now going to be bigger than all the other characters. Uh, that's just something you can do. Not necessarily something that's in all RPGs, but this is just something that you can have in your arsenal. If you want your RPG uh, dialogue system to stand out just a little bit more, then that's something you can do. Um, we're gonna continue with other features in the future. <laughs> um, no pun intended, but we're gonna have some maybe more animations. And so stick around, there's gonna be a little bit more that we're gonna do. And, but this, se this series is going to be wrapping up soon. And I hope that helps you guys, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
I'd like to thank my Patreons, Alejandro, Covian, Bay, Emerson, Kirijo, Polybius, and Yuan. If you want to become a Patreon, you can uh, support me at patreon.com slash devbird, where you can join my Discord, or you can just join the Discord um, in the link description below. And you there you can uh, suggest videos or ask me questions, and I'll see you guys next time.